It is Kenny from Kenny's Audiophile Record Reviews. Thank you very much for viewing my channel, as I deeply appreciate it. In this video, I'm going to discuss some points that I failed to mention in my previous video regarding the mobile fidelity lack of transparency issue and gloss over some things I already mentioned. Also, at the end of the video, I'm going to mention an issue that's near and dear to my heart. So please um, watch the whole video. I'd really appreciate it. But I'd like to start off that, actually start off saying that mobile fidelity should, number one, issue a complete and full apology on YouTube and on their website. Now, I realize that with a lot of you audiophiles, that's not going to cut it. I understand that. But they really should do that simply because it's the right thing to do. In addition to that, with the, with the release of each of these insanely expensive box sets, with each issue of these SACDs and CDs, they should have a companion, companion video on their website and on YouTube explaining um, where they got the source material from, where the source material is all analog, where there is a copy of a copy, where there's a copy. Show the complete production process from beginning to end. State uh, during these videos whether it's all analog or analog and DSD. Show the complete process with each issue of each LP set, CD set, and SACD set that they release. Re the reason why I say with each issue is because each one of those um, LP sets could have their own unique and different um, production process. So they should need to do that for each one. In addition, they need to update their literature inside their box sets and show the same detail that I mentioned that they should show in video in their inbox literature and in their SACD literatures and CD uh, literatures as well. You know, show the master tape. Meticulously show the production chain. And be, like I said, completely transparent. And also, one other point, on the front of the box sets, they really need to, in plain letters, that's easy to see, state where it's all analog, digital analog, whatever it is. Don't put it on the, box, on the back of the box in small text that you need a um, magnifying glass to see. This is a golden opportunity for Mobile Fidelity to revamp their image and get ahead of this it's up to them to take it another issue i like to discuss is sometimes as audiophiles we lose focus on our true blessings and the true blessings of life let's face it this issue with mobile fidelity that's a first world problem it's a problem nonetheless but it's a first world problem and like I said, sometimes we lose focus on our true blessings while in, we're in the process of these, um, you know, these debates, whether uh, de we're debating analog versus digital, tube versus uh, solid state, CD versus vinyl, whether we're having these debate on, uh, you know, YouTube or on the internet on these message boards and leaving these comments on these mes message boards. And after we leave those comments, we flex our muscle and meticulously leave a column of all the high-end gear that we have to flex our, um, our muscle about our knowledge on um, high-end audio. Or we make YouTube videos showing racks of records in the back to boost our credibility. We're truly blessed, and sometimes we lose sight of that. I know I do. I know sometimes I have I see myself watching YouTube videos of individuals showing their high-end equipment. Or, for example, the other day I, I was watching this one uh, guy on YouTube, and he had a stack of very high-end um, mobile fidelity box sets. And I say to myself, gosh, what did I do so wrong in my life that I can't have the same things that he has? not realizing that I should be blessed with what I do have. I'm blessed that I don't have to go to bed in a fetal position 
out of sheer hunger. I'm blessed that we, me and my wife go to bed at night. We're not lying there in fear with bombs flying over our head in hopes that one of them doesn't land in our vicinity. I'm truly blessed. I'm blessed that I have a wife that loves me for all of the right reasons. I'm blessed to have a son that loves me for all of the right reasons. I love him as well as, as I love my wife. And he's out in the world doing amazing things. Sometimes we're all wrapped up in this upgrade-itis. And we're not focus, focusing on our true blessings in life. We just, we just, we just lose focus on those, uh, those, um, those blessings. So whether you are a, a mid-fi audiophile like me, a high-end audiophile, and have a $100,000 system, a $300 system, or a million dollar system, system plus, or whether you have a Crosley turntable, a swap meet turntable, a thrift store turntable, and five records, do me a favor. Please do not forget your true blessings in life. Thank you for viewing my channel. Please leave comments in the comments section below. God bless. Love. Peace to all.